And it's estimated that there are 20 square miles of vacant land within the city. Um, so businesses and Detroit residents are, are taking that land and repurposing it for community-supported agriculture. Another reason why urban farming is so important to the city is because 41% of Detroit residents live in poverty. So a lot of people feel like they don't have a, a choice but to grow their own food because they can't afford to buy the processed food that's sold at the grocery store. For the end users of my vehicle, um, it would be local, um, local businesses and local nonprofits. There really isn't anything that fit my concept. Um, like the Chevy Colorado is just too big for what I was going for. Other utility vehicles are not street legal. And um, the closest thing that I found was the Japanese K-truck, which is not street legal um, in most states in the US. As far as the, the inspiration aesthetically, the city of Detroit has a rich history in um, art and craft and design. Um, a few notable people are um, Mies van der Rohe and uh, Charles and Ray Eames. So from that, there, um, I looked at a lot of mid-century modern designs because they're very simple and straightforward, which is what I wanted to go for with this project. So for my final design, the body panels would be compression molded, 30% hemp fiber soy-based PLA um, from locally Michigan sourced soybeans, because Michigan has a ton of soybeans. The truck bed would be made out of rotomolded polyethylene for the safety I would have um, injection molded polypropylene honeycomb structures on the front, rear, and sides. And for the chassis, the unibody would be a pre-preg carbon fiber reinforced plastic attached to a hydroform aluminum ladder frame. So here are a couple examples um, of what my final design could be used for. Like I said, there could be local nonprofits and businesses that use it, but it could also be used for other smaller delivery purposes like FedEx Home or um, people sometimes just need to run a truck, like from U-Haul. As far as the lead color, I chose blue um, to symbolize not only the Great Lakes, but also because blue symbolizes loyalty. And a lot of the residents in the city of Detroit are very loyal to the city, and that's why they care enough to start nonprofit organizations to bring up the community. Just thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, it's been a great growing experience and a humbling experience, and I've had a really great time working on this project with the American Chemistry Council.